what's going on guys still to welcome back to another video so today i want to go ahead and talk about level 1000 and is it really worth it now when a thousand levels was introduced at multiplayer a little bit back um, it was level 56 to 1,000, you know, as you reach Master Prestige, everybody's like, yes, I'm the, fi I'm, you know, the final Prestige, you reach Master Prestige, max level in the game, and then they dropped the huge bomb of level 56 to 1,000. Now, currently, as I'm making this commentary, I'm level 789, so I'm on that grind to level 1,000. I have a couple of uh, people on my friends list that are actually level 1,000 already, and, and they're legit, obviously, and um, I gotta say that there's not really much reward when you're going up to level 1000 and it's to the point where I'm gonna say it's not worth it so if you're thinking about going to level 1000 or what it, whatever it may be obviously you're just gonna go ahead and do it or prestige in general I don't even think prestiging is worth it to be honest but going to level 1000 is definitely not worth it and it would be different if they actually gave you something or rewarded you for, you know, completing such a big task. The only thing you really get is, you know, custom prestige icons, which are actually cool, by the way. I definitely think that was a cool addition for them to make. You know, I like rocking, uh, you know, the World at War and Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 prestige icons. That is pretty cool. Don't get me wrong. And I love the orange uh, level next to my name. But there's nothing else there's no calling cards there's no certain weapons there's no camos there's no nothing to say besides a rank and an emblem to say hey i did the grind i made it to level 1000 you know what i mean there's no special calling card there's no nothing like that so this kind of happened in aw if you guys remember back a lot of grandmaster prestiges actually didn't really enjoy being grandmaster prestige because they had to buy supply drops you know we never really got it rewarded with supply drops and i'm pretty sure that that there was one time in aw where they rewarded us with 10 advanced supply drops and i actually called bs on it because i thought it was ridiculous that you know you go to such a high level you do all this grinding to get there and then you don't get rewarded now you, let's let's take it like this okay you know that uh you got weapons leading up to you know grandmaster prestige that was pretty cool and you know that was worth it you know you got the speakeasy you got uh what is it the imr boar strike or something like that or whatever one it was you got the obsidian steed you got some pretty good guns right but in black ops 3 there's nothing like that you know what would be really cool is if you do the grind maybe you get some weapons you know say for example i go to level 100 boom you get the skull splitter 200 boom you get the slash and burn 300 and so on and so forth you guys get where i'm going with this right um it would be really really cool now what also would be cool is if you can get a custom calling card for reaching level 1000 it has a big 1000 on the on you know across it kind of like the 100 percent completion but a level 1000 and it says i made it and then level 1000 underneath it which would be pretty cool with all the prestige icons that you get going up to level 1000 i think that would be super sick it'd be animated and the prestige icons just be like you know uh i guess floating all over the place in the background dark background you know you got i made it and then level 1000 or you got the big 1000 right below it i think that'd be really cool but then again you know i don't know what treyarch is doing i don't know what their plans are in the future obviously you know we're in the middle of the game it's kind of stale right now and people are wondering you know what's their next big thing 10 specialists dlc all that stuff new weapons so on and so forth new weapons and all that stuff can only go so far you know and some people don't even care for new weapons anymore because they can't get them so i think this would definitely be cool if we can go ahead like, for example, like I said earlier, level 100, you get this weapon, 200, you get that weapon, so on and so forth. Rewarding people that put in the, the time and effort to get to level 1000 can be rewarded with weapons and calling cards and so on and so forth. I also think it would be really cool if for every prestige we go, like, say, for example, I reach level 100, I get all the prestige 1 uh, icons from Black Ops 1, 2, and World at War. I would also get calling cards from Black Ops 1, 2, and World at War with that prestige icon on it. I thought that would have been pretty cool. And I know Treyarch is capable of doing this stuff. I don't know if they actually, like, just don't think about this these things. I'm pretty sure they do, but I don't know how much effort or work it takes to go ahead and put these kind of things into a game because, obviously, I'm not a game designer, but I'm pretty sure obviously we can all tell that they are a pretty strong ting team over there at Treyarch so they're capable of doing these kinds of things but do they actually want to do it you know do they want to go ahead and put in the effort and say yes we'll do this we'll reward people for going ahead and going to level 1000 because as it stands right now 
there's not really a reward to go or to go to level 1000 you know when I reached master prestige I made a video I remember um, I'll put it on your screen if I could find it like the thumbnail and stuff if I could find it I actually talked about master prestige and I said is it really worth going for and you know it was the same thing back then you know all you got was calling cards that was it it was really really frustrating you got 10 uh, created class slots which I still don't think is enough. You know, I, I use a lot of class setups. I like to go ahead and, you know, pick some different ones here and there and stuff, try out new things, but I don't have enough uh, class setups. And you go to buy the extra class setups and it's like you can only use this section or that section, so it's really frustrating. So, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below, but I definitely will tell you that 1,000 is not worth it the only thing you really get for level 1000 is all the prestige icons so you can use whatever prestige icon you want at any time you want you get bragging rights and you get called a hacker all day <laughs> you can ask any freaking person that's level 1000 i believe painkiller uh timothy is actually level 1000 so i mean if he's in the comments you can ask him man i'm pretty sure and i've seen a lot of videos of people being accused of hackers and stuff i've watched a couple uh streams with uh people that are level 1000s and they go to their messages and it's nothing but hacker lol well, why did you hack and I don't blame them for saying that because there's a lot of people that have fake ranks Like I ran into a guy last night that had a level eight nine hundred and he had like two days played seriously, bro Really if you're gonna go ahead and hack at least look make yourself look legit <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say man, but let me know what you guys think down in the comments below Like I said, I definitely do not think or I know that level 1000 is not worth it I'm just going for it because it's an accomplishment for me I've maxed out in pretty much every single call of duty in the past so I'm, I'm gonna do the same pretty much for this one all right so let me know what you guys think down in the comments below for the third time i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to drop a like on it also make sure to subscribe to become part of those squad today if you are new make sure to follow me on twitter link is down in the description below i'll see you guys in the next one peace out